everyone. Yo, 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 what's up, people? So it's Monday, the 22nd of November, 2021. What a historical time to be alive. Myself and Mr. Harding and my music manager, Amy, were hanging out about two months ago, and we were literally saying this is going to be the most exciting decade of human history, 2020 to 2030. So congratulations for everyone even being in this space. Um, before we get started, disclaimer, neither myself nor Mr. Harding are financial advisors. We do not perceive to be financial advisors. Um, everything that you see and we say in this Zoom call on all our social media pages is for entertainment purposes only. Yep, facts. Uh, if you, the reason it's for entertainment and education purposes only is because if you didn't know already, all investments come with risk. If you are unable to mitigate the risks or don't even know what the word mitigate means, please contact a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Do not use any data or information you hear on our show towards any of your investment decisions. Please do your own research. If you're after a financial advisor, however. We do have a financial advisor. Um, so if you would uh, if you would like a financial advisor, get in touch and we can point you towards um, one that is accredited. Yep. So that's pretty much it. Basically, we don't know what we're talking about. It's just the coincidence that all the results that all of our students are getting, all the results that we're getting multiple times over. Um, legally, we have to say that it's a coincidence. We're not allowed to say that it's because we're professionals or that we know what we're doing because we don't have the correct piece of paper that says that we do know what we're doing so uh yeah that's pretty much that so today's show oh actually now now you can carry on with uh recognizing people from around the world that we've got on the stream oh for sure okay so we've got um my homie adam adam where are you are you in chester or something adam the brave we'll let we'll let adam type in chat where where he's currently at Chester, amazing. Okay, so we've got Chester in the place. We've got Natasha Wong. Um, I really appreciate this lady. New Jersey, USA. We locked in, baby. What time is it in New Jersey right now? Um, we've got Aisha. Um, shout outs. Is it Aisha or Aisha? Um, I believe, I believe she's in, oh, 3.07 p.m. I believe she's in Manchester right now. She's also a very, very dope um, NFT artist. So Aisha, if you drop, drop your Instagram below, um, I'll, I'll read that out. Um, and uh, <laughs> then we've got Deck, Manchester 0161 in the place. We've got Faye. Faye, where, where are you calling in from? Okay, we'll wait for Faye. Oh, Bolton, amazing, just outside of money. Terrell, where are you tuned in from? Birmingham, Birmingham. Oh, one, two, one in the place, let's get it. McMuffin, I'm not too familiar who this is. This is Aaron, he's in the call all the time. Oh, so, sorry. <laughs> it's because of the username. Aaron, where, where are you calling in from? We'll wait for Aaron. Then finally, we've got um, we've got Michael from Germany. So we international baby. And today we're going to be talking about one of the most important companies on planet Earth, and arguably not financial advice. One of the most undervalued stocks in the stock market for at least a long term investment, and that's Coinbase. So we'll give it up um, for Mr. Harding, who will be going over the Coinbase earnings report. Yep, 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 yep. That's what I'm going to be doing. Um, so first thing I'm going to be doing, however, is our little news and market updates. And also obviously letting you guys know about all things Blockchain Sensei. So this is our Instagram page. Please give it a follow. Please give it a like. Please share it with somebody else. Then if you want any information about us and want to work with us, or maybe you're interested in swing trading, we actually have a live event coming up uh, this time next week. Not only is it going to be myself, it's going to be um, Ninja and Keish and Mr. Spectacular, our highest um, earning um, student so far. He's going to be involved. 
Now, it's an amazing deal. You're going to, for just £20, you can learn how to trade. Now, I personally paid over £2,000 for the course that, that I did. We're going to teach you the fundamental basics of trading for just £20. Um, then £30 if you want to get a replay of it. However, after this event, after you this event, it's going to cost £40 uh, to get the replay of this. Um, and if you get the £40 ticket, then you can ask questions in the event now i actually did a little bit of a teaser of this of what the session was going to is going to be like with terrell the other day how did you find the session terrell oh, oh was he muted sorry my bad yeah it was good it was good um it was really useful i'm actually still going with the information now but everything that i learned was it was new it was new yeah, brilliant. fresh me. Brilliant, brilliant. So anyone that wants previous episodes of the game, just go to the Blockchain Sensei Instagram and then click on the link tree and there's the previous episodes of the game. We've got our intro to crypto uh, PDF there. We've got our top 10 alt picks, which is now very relevant being as the, the market dipped. 80% of these things that we mentioned did actually go up and um, doing very well. Then we've got our crypto swing trade signal service. For those of you that already know how to trade crypto or know how to trade, we've got our signal service, which has got a 90% hit rate um, on all of our signals. We get about 20 signals per month. And then we've got our financial literacy course for beginners and then our NFT white paper. So that's just a little bit about um, Blockchain Sensei. So let's get into the news of what's happening in the space and in the market at this moment in time. So one of the biggest thing, one of the first things in the news at the moment is that PayPal has finally allowed the crypto payments to happen for all of their merchants. They have over 3,000 merchants, which is businesses, that are registered with them that are now going to be able to take and receive uh, crypto payments. Now, one of the other biggest pieces of news that if you didn't know, yeah, need to know. Um, Square have released a white paper uh, for a DEX. So that's a decentralized exchange that Square are going to be launching, allowing people to exchange cryptos via Square, uh, which is huge, huge news. Why is this huge news? Because as we know already, we've mentioned it before, I think, um, they have Cash App, which is the number one investing platform in America at this moment in time. So that's just going to bring in a crazy amount of um, volatility into the market, plus the PayPal thing. Now, one of the things we've been touting for a while is that eventually, just like how a few companies are holding Bitcoin on the balance sheet, that eventually companies would start holding altcoins and ethereum on their balance sheets and lo and behold none other than mike novogratz from galaxy digital who helped us recognize the solana um when he dropped his episode on eyl our uh, big brothers in america um he's actually now teamed up with time magazine and is allowing helping time to hold ethereum on their business balance sheet now, if you're wondering if you're living in the wrong country, um, yes, you are. Because if you lived in Venezuela, you'd be able to get a <laughs> a scholarship for playing Axie Infinity, which is a pretty amazing scholarship. I would love a, a scholarship to be able to get paid to play games all day, every day. Then we've obviously got the Deloitte deal with Avalanche, which is huge if you know who Deloitte are. And again, one of the things that we've been saying for ages, a year now, which has actually become a reality, is that the um, tickets, uh, we know about this one because of Mark Cuban. Uh, Mark Cuban said it again on our Big Brothers episode of EYL. He mentioned that mm -hmm. what he was trying to do with the Mavs, Mavericks NFL mm -hmm. team was allow people to get their tickets as NFTs. Now, imagine when that, comes over to the nba when that comes over to the yeah. premier league or to the champions league when your tickets still pays me become nfts that's going to be absolutely crazy let me just yeah. there you go. okay cool so that is the the news this week then we've obviously got that tiny bit of news from um i don't know if anyone noticed it but i would definitely do your research on it if anyone's ever heard of the club amnesia they actually, in Ibiza, they actually had a metaverse party, which is pretty huge news. But yeah, 
All of this is pretty huge news, but I'm kind of brushing over it like it's not that big of a deal because we're going to spend a bit of time diving into the Coinbase earnings report. Why? Because it is, once again, absolutely redonkulous. The information that they're giving away in this white pit, in this earnings report, it just, again, shows why it's very important if you want to get ahead um, to read earnings reports. So first of all, for beginners that don't really know anything what an earnings report even is, anything that is listed on the stock market is called a public company. Now, a public company then means that they have to provide an earnings report every quarter disclosing all of the information about that company, how they're, how they're doing in terms of their revenues, their profits, the assets they've got, the liabilities, basically a financial breakdown of how they're doing for that quarter. So being as Coinbase is one of the only uh, crypto platforms that's actually public, which is, means on the stock market, that gives us an inside view of what's happening in the crypto market um, through them because they have to release this report showing how much money's come in, how much money's going out, what things people are buying, so on and so forth. So as investors, it's great for us because one, if you're invested in Coinbase, I personally am, um, it's great because you can get more information about how great of an investment you've made. And then number two, you can get an insight into cryptos that maybe might be of interest because they're talking about it in their earnings report. So how do you find an earnings report for any company in the world? You literally go onto Google and you type in investors relations. So any company in the world, you just type in investors relations and then type the name of the company. So, and then enter. And it'll be the first one that comes up nine times out of 10. And then just simply click on it it'll take you to the investors relations page of the company. And then what you wanna do is you wanna read the shareholder letter. So this is this one here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this together. Um, Ninja, I know you've had a, a little bit of a look at it. Uh, anything that stands out to you or you wanna mention as we're going through it, uh, just feel free to interrupt me and, and let the let the people know. Appreciate the man. I'll be honest, I've not, I've not dissected it, so I just skimmed through, but um, <laughs> there's definitely some interesting metrics. So. Yep. Okay, cool. So let's go through. Now, on the first page, straight off the bat, as per usual with these earnings reports, we get something amazing to understand, and that is that they are clearly saying Coinbase is not a quarter-to-quarter -quarter investment, but rather a long-term investment. I, I don't think anyone needed to be explained that, that you shouldn't be holding Coinbase for one quarter expecting great returns. We're going to have a look in a bit because I got Coinbase at IPO and then I've been buying it during the dips and during the lows. So I'm going to show you how you buy an IPO later on. Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you in on a secret, right? So the secret I'm going to let you guys in on live all is that Coinbase at present, it may not be forever, but right now it is my biggest stock holding i've got more invested in coinbase than any other stock Fair so enough. that's 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 how invest, invested i am literally in coinbase i think it's my second or third biggest holding to be fair there we go <laughs> so just because their earnings report is just on crud like they're just doing a madness as we're going to see so yeah they're first of all they're saying it's a um a long hold now the next bit that i highlighted in here for myself that i thought was a bit of an important thing to notice is that they said that there was a because of the low volatility so basically when the market dipped a little bit in the in the last quarter the average volumes of trading were down 37 percent in q3 in comparison to q2 so basically what the queues are is q1 is january february march um q2 is um April, May, June. So they're basically saying in April, May, June, there was more trading volume than there was in the last three months. However, Coinbase outperformed the market with total trading volumes of 327 billion. Pause. Anyway, let's How carry on. the market? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so <laughs> let's just uh, carry on there. So swings in market conditions expected in these early days of the cryptocurrency. Duh, 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 duh. So they saw their verified users um, grow again to 73 million users now are on Coinbase, uh, which is ridiculous. Um, and their retail monthly transacting users uh, were 7.4 million. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to have a, just a quick breakdown of some of these numbers here. So the place to note that their subscription services revenue grew by 41%. Now Coinbase only offers one real subscription service and that is DeFi. If you don't know what DeFi is, that's decentralized finance. That's basically lending your crypto to Coinbase and them giving you a, a, a return on it. So basically like um, a bond yield or basically like what you would do with property where you get a return on your, your property investment. So that's that there. Now, the other features that they have is the Coinbase card. This is the, this gets mentioned quite a few times in this, and it's not available in the UK yet. You can subscribe for it, so it kind of shows what we're missing out on. Now, again, this is the key bit that we want to look at here, is the jump in monthly transacting users. Now, even though they're down in the amount of people using the platform um, in this quarter from 8.8 .8 million down to 7.4 million active users, if we look at it from one year to another, this time last year, they had 2.1 million users. They now have 7.4. Now, this is the bit where it gets a bit crazy, is the trading volume. Last quarter, the trading volume was at 462 billion. That's half a trillion of trading volume on Coinbase alone. alone. So, you know. I think they've got some inside That's data. Exchange like, monopoly firm. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Um, so then the trading volume again, yes, it's down a little bit, but if we compare it to this time last year, it was at 45 billion. And this quarter, it this time this year is at 327 billion. You tell me if you had billions of pounds to invest and you wanted to get inside information on the crypto world, would you possibly, as a big whale, as a big bank? invest in coinbase i don't know for me i would now again one of the very very interesting things here is the fact that despite they had a, a bad quarter as they're trying to say they did look at this jump in assets held on the platform they've gone from 180 billion in assets held to 255 billion in held on the platform. Now, again, if you compare that to this time last year, that was 36 billion to 255 billion. I don't know about you, but that's a bit of a crazy, crazy jump. And again, if we look at their net revenue, so that's the amount of money that they've had come in altogether through their business. This time last year was at 287 million. And now they're at 1.22 billion. Uh, and their overall profit has gone from this time last year, 81 uh, million to 406 million. So again, yes, they've taken a dip in this quarter, but overall year on year, the results are absolutely crazy. So moving on. So central to these efforts in talent in Coinbase, they've actually hired over 600 people. Uh, so they've actually pretty much doubled the amount of staff that they've got. And the reason for this is because of the new plan that they've got to release Coinbase NFT. Now, if you know anything about the NFT market, we know it's going absolutely crazy. Now, one of the things that Coinbase did the other day is they were doing this thing where they were doing the crypto sweet stakes, where they were offering to give out a free crypto to anyone that downloaded um, a, a free NFT to anyone that downloaded their wallet. By doing that simple marketing technique, Remember that they were going to go notice that I've said about the marketing. One marketing technique got them more downloads of their wallet than the highest NFT platform in the world. In one day, they had more users than OpenSea. Now, yeah, that's crazy. The base NFT marketplace is going to be big. Yeah. It's Lame going to be a game changer. Um, so, yeah, they're basically one of the other things that they've decided to put money into, which, again, I think we should pay some attention to, 
is they keep mentioning in this white paper Coinbase identity. Now, I don't know what that means, but I think they're figuring out a way of allowing you to put your identity on the blockchain and using blockchain and Coinbase as like your ID or your passport, which would be a game changer. Um, so yeah, so the overall crypto market is actually up from 800 billion to 2.0 trillion. Um, further, according to the World Bank and to crypto.com, the number of crypto users globally doubled in the first half of 2021 to over 200 million. So right now, the growth of the internet is in line with the growth of crypto. So it's exactly neck and neck, pretty much with where we was in 1998. So if you think that you're late to crypto and you're late to investing in, in, in Coinbase, this is like investing in Amazon or eBay in 1998. This is like investing in a website in 1998. Look how similar this timeline is. Like it's perfectly aligned, spookily aligned. Okay, cool. So hopefully you're taking some value from that. Um, so let's go on to user growth and engagement. So we're pleased to see a growing percentage of our users deepening their engagement with our product portfolio. Approximately 2.8 million users were earning yield on their crypto assets, predominantly through staking at the end of the quarter. So we can see that what's happening is most of their users are now looking at staking. Now, this is where it gets very interesting. As I always like looking at the institutional side of what's happening with Coinbase. On the institutional side, we can see that they're actually starting to name some of their institutional clients. One of them is PIMCO. One of them is Marek Solutions. And one of them is Presergo. Let's have a look at who these guys are. Now, PIMCO are one of the world's biggest asset management firms who have 2.2 trillion in assets under management. So one of the firms that they are working with has the equivalent value of the entire crypto market that they're managing themselves. And that's one of Coinbase's clients. So yeah, can they get billions flowing into the market? Yeah. Now that also means that PIMCO now have access to all of the trading data and all of the movements inside Coinbase. The other investment was, the other client that they have is Marex Solutions. These guys are a UK-based one. Um, and then Prosego or Prosego. You may have heard of these guys, but you may recognize them more from films. So these guys are a massive um, security company. So what they do is they provide like the, the trucks that provide all the, the security, these, these trucks. So they're clearly moving into digital security, which makes sense. Um, and these guys have all kinds of, I think this might be a move to do with the identity stuff. So yeah, they offer Smart Cash, Hawkeye. I, I'm just going to say, go do your own research into... Um, into these guys. I'm not going to say too much on these guys, just for my own safety. Anyway, so moving on. Um, so in terms of what's happened is they've actually increased the amount of um, things that you can trade from 103 things on the platform to now 158 things are on the platform. You see that's seen a massive growth. One of the other things was Coinbase Prime. Uh, that's done really, really well. Um, and what a Coinbase Prime is, is basically allowing big finance companies to understand crypto a little bit better. And it allows big trillion dollar companies to be able to trade crypto with a lot of detail. Now, what the interesting thing is, is they've now added a mobile app for institutions. Why you would need to add a mobile app for institutions, I have no idea why you would need to do that. But there we go. That's, that's what they're doing. Uh, then the Coinbase wallet, we've already talked about that. Increased security, we talked about that already. Uh, Coinbase NFT, we've talked about that already. Now, the payroll, we've already talked about that. That's one of the things that we do with our businesses is at Blockchain Sensei, is we actually help people um, to 
ex start accepting crypto payments for their businesses. So if you know any business owners that you think should be accepting crypto as part of their business, or if you're a business owner and want to start collecting crypto uh, with your business or accepting tips in crypto, let us know and we'll be happy to help you set that up. Um, so one of the very interesting features, again, which is going to cause more volatility in the market, is retail advanced trading. So the same ability for trading that they're giving to institutions, they're going to be releasing this to ordinary people like me and you. Now, again, I like looking at this because this kind of gives away the bag. Trading volume. So we can see this time last year, the trading volume in billions for retail, which is ordinary people, was at 18 billion and institutions were at 27 billion not much of a gap. This time this year, the gap is clear. So that clearly shows when the dip happened, who was making money? Because look at the trading volume. That clearly shows that the dip was kind of caused by institutions moving crazy amounts of money, 234 billion to be precise on Coinbase alone. So, yeah. Now, the other thing that's, that's quite interesting with this bit is the trading volume of what assets. So one of the things we were saying from when we first read this Coinbase earnings report four quarters ago was that we believed that what was eventually going to start happening is that the institutions and other traders and just people in crypto in general would slowly move away from Bitcoin and, and start being more interested in ethereum then slowly start being interested in other crypto assets so we can see the trading volume 32 percent of it was uh bitcoin 18 percent of it was ethereum and now when we look at it now bitcoin trading volume has dropped down all the way to 19 percent. so we can see it's actually now the lowest traded thing and in fact the highest traded thing is other crypto assets outside oh, of season baby uh, outside oh, of bitcoin. season so that basically means people are trading altcoins. This basically means the money is no longer flowing to Bitcoin. If this, so let's do the maths, right? Coinbase has more trading than the overall market itself. We read that in the first chapter. Coinbase has 234 billion in trading volume from institutions alone. What are they trading? Altcoins are 59% of what they're trading. Ethereum is 22% of what they're trading. Bitcoin only makes up 19% of what they're trading. So that clearly shows us that, you know, Bitcoin isn't really the one anymore. Um, it's the one, but, you know, it's not the main, main one. Now, assets on the platform, I found this interesting, is that there is an increase from retail and increase from institutional. That's always good. Um, but again, assets on the platform, the one that's quite interesting is that other crypto assets is up again. So you can see people are just buying altcoins. Now, this is the embarrassing bit for people like us, for people that are using Coinbase. Look at this gap between how much money Coinbase are making from retail transaction revenue compared to institutions. They are making 1.02 billion a quarter from people like me and you trading crypto compared to institutions and big banks moving. So wait, let's, let's just break this down. So retail are trading 116 billion but yet they're making one billion from us institutions are trading 139 billion and they're only making 67 billion so that clearly shows 67 million not billion so it clearly shows that they're giving a much better deal to the institutions than they are to us they're just basically if you're using coinbase you're getting milked and they even say in the report that people could use coinbase pro but they just don't Use Coinbase so, Pro, not financial so advice. stop using Coinbase. Use Coinbase Pro because That's you're just it. paying crazy, ridiculous fees for no reason. Mm -hmm. Now, interesting part here, 
is blockchain rewards revenue was up 81.5 million Q3, up 109% compared to Q2. So that shows that the institutions and retail are doing what more than ever? Staking. So DeFi is the big, 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 big attractor in, in the Coinbase earnings report. Now, this is a massive plug. If you understand what I'm about to explain to you here, this tells you everything you need to know. So we already know Coinbase is our doorway into seeing what's happening with institutions within the market. Coinbase Ventures is their venture capital fund where they invest into upcoming cryptos. Now, one of the things that we know that is in the Coinbase Ventures portfolio, in fact, I'm going to be really nice and I'm going to show you what's in the Coinbase Ventures portfolio because that's... It should the, definitely be for paid clients. But definitely be for paid clients. But, <laughs> you know. We're too generous. Uh, what's one that we know is in the Coinbase Ventures? Uh, well, we know um, Flow is. Yeah, and it's not been listed on Coinbase yet, has it? And it's not been listed on Coinbase yet, no. Um, so yeah, yeah we can no, see. it might, it might never. You know, it's not, it's not financial advice. Coinbase Ventures portfolio. <laughs> so this is all the things in their portfolio. Which, which ones have not done well? Bitcoin's done well, Ethereum's done well, Terra's done well, Uniswap's done, done well, Polygon's done well. These are the ones that haven't popped yet. Dude, you literally made me bullish on Terra. I slept on that in DCA, you know. So, yeah, you might want to look at these projects and uh, decide, wait, Rarible. Rarible has it. They're Rarible own. have their own NFT platform. Why is it interesting? Well, so they've got their own exchange token. That's very interesting. But yeah, there's some here that when you look at the market cap of them, they're tiny, majorly tiny, and Coinbase hold them. You could literally just copy Coinbase's portfolio. But we don't advise you to do that. We advise we you don't to advise you to do that. But you know, no one else is going to show you how to find Coinbase's portfolio. But we just thought, you know, guys, the biggest takeaway that Mr. Harding just showed you guys is not just what Coinbase have in their portfolio, but literally the idea, like he's literally showed everybody here, everybody who rewatches this, that you can look at what whales have in their portfolio via um, CoinMarketCap.com, and here we can see. 29% of their portfolio is in web free infrastructure and 24% of it is in DeFi. So what you could do is go and look in their portfolio and see which ones are DeFi projects like Compound. Say no more. Pause for anyone that gets what I just did. Anyway, Oh, look at that. What are the chances? Um, cloud offering being it be began as Coinbase Ventures investment. Similarly, we invested in Compound. Pause. Before partnering to support a day one listing for custody and trading. But yeah, if, if, you, if you, I'm not saying maybe you should research Compound and, and look at it. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, so just wrapping up this earnings report, let's look at uh, some of the closing thoughts of what they're saying. Uh, basically, they're saying the crypto economy is going crazy. Um, and one of the things that they're looking forward to next year is, uh, and in the next quarter, is the Coinbase NFT, because apparently they've done hardly any marketing this year in, in the last quarter. So just think. Now, again, let's look at this balance sheet properly. December 31st to September 31st, the amount of cash equivalents that they had gone from 1 billion to 6 in the space of a year. Their revenue has gone from 644 million to 4.8 billion. Their net income has gone from 145 
million to 2.7 billion. I don't know. You, you tell me if that's a great company. But Wait, wait. Can we just... Can you just say that one more time? In fact, I'm going to show that, that, you. That was insane. <laughs> yeah, their, their numbers are stupid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a website, which is great to really... If you're a beginner and reading those papers is a little bit too much, this website really breaks it down for beginners and helps them really understand with great visualizations. So this website is called hypercharts.co. Again, I normally give this to um, anyone that's doing the first free session with me. And what we can see is all the great things that we need to see. So their revenue growth year on year is 316%. This is their growth of their monthly transacting users quarter by quarter. So we can see that's growing ever so nicely. This is their trading volume. So again, the orange is how much of what's traded on their platform is Bitcoin. Blue is how much of it is traded on their platform is Ethereum. And gray is altcoins. So we can see what's slowly happening over the last four quarters. What is happening? The money is leaving Bitcoin, leaving Ethereum, and most definitely going to altcoins. So revenue segments. Can, again, I, can I just state though, I do predict like, and I, and I can be wrong, like historically speaking, that money will flow back into Bitcoin and Ethereum. Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> but it's because, just not right now. So again, if, you're, if, you're if we look at this growth like, you're, of you're, this you're company Bitcoin. as an investment, it's gone from 37 million to this time last year, Q3, 2019, 8 million in revenue, in, in net income, which is profit. Then it went to 81 million. Currently is at 406 million. Previous quarter was at 1.6 billion. So yeah, they kind of know what they're doing. Now, again, a great way to understand where a company is going and what its future holds is to look at how much money they're spending on research and development and sales and marketing. We can so the sales and marketing is the green one. We can see that their sales and marketing actually dipped this quarter from 195 million down to 105 million. So they pulled 19 million out of their marketing budget that they didn't spend, but still managed to get the highest amount of wallets opened in in blockchain. So yeah, these guys are crazy so that's that so let's go and have a look at their chart and look at where they're at, at the moment and where they're looking like they might go to so do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. also we know that we haven't done the watch list this week uh, this month even, but it's going to come out tomorrow, uh, which has been a bit tied up. So this is how Coinbase has performed since its IPO. Now, a lot of people tried to rush in and get the IPO. I was one of those people that did it just to say that I had I Coinbase from the day that it launched. I only put in like 100 quid um, into Coinbase on IPO. Then when it dipped, I waited because all... Guys, there's like a rule that I always stress that happens with all tech IPOs. Please learn this. 95% of tech IPOs crash after their, after their launch in their first week. They then settle and find a base and then come back up to that IPO price. 95% of tech IPOs have done this, be it Square, be it Tesla, be it um, Coinbase, be it Airbnb. They all follow the exact same pattern like this when, when they launch anyway. Okay, anyway, so we can see the price came down. Price came down to around 218. Found a really nice support just here. The blue arrows are points where I bought in. So we can see bought in here, bought in here. And now we are up to the highest return that we would have got from that would have been 61%. At the moment, we're sitting at a 37% return, um, which is a very good for a stock. So where are we expecting this to go? 
Uh, personally, I've said it before. I'm going to say it again, and I'm glad it's been recorded. This is, I personally think this is going to go to $1,000 in the next year. Personally. Wow. So that means the, prediction. the purchase of getting it down here is a free X. So just think, based on what we saw about- Sorry, just to Coinbase, interrupt, that's actually 4X. Or is it 4? Three, yeah. three, it's actually over 4 because remember, 100% is 2X. 200% is 3x, 300% is 4x. So if Mr. Harding is hypothetically correct and you got in Coinbase stock when it was down there at the kind of 218 line, if it does get to um, $1,000, um, $1, then that's over 4x, right? 4.3. Yep. And just just based it off the numbers that we've just been through in, in the report, is it looking like it's a good company like it's making profit and making increasing its revenue and increasing its assets and increasing its net income it's, it's looking like one of the most undervalued companies on the stock market in the world <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it's looking like they said like we're in 1998 in terms of the, the internet so the adoption, you know yeah. Uh, I'm going to play this video back in 10 years' time. It would be very interesting. So, yeah, that's not an indication for you to go and buy it. Please do your own research. Go and watch some videos, read, do some reading on Coinbase as an investment in the stock market. So, yeah, we're going to be working on the, the watch list real, real soon. Um, so I think that is it for yeah Coinbase. I hope uh, everybody's enjoyed that. I'm going to take some questions on this one. I normally do questions a little bit later, but I'm going to take some questions on this and then we'll have a look at some altcoins um, as well. So, because I know it's a bit, it's a lot of information that I just gave there, especially if you're, you're new. Uh, let me go to the chat and see what people are saying. Sorry, can I ask a question? Yeah, 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 fire away. Um, so what you just did now was... You were looking at investing in Coinbase, the platform. Yeah. Yeah. And you um, basically just looked at like the charts. Um, yeah. Okay. I just wanted to clarify that's all because I have, I have, I have joined Coinbase, but mm -hmm. I find it overwhelming to look at. Okay. But you've broken it. You've broken it down. Um, really well but it's like a lot of information yeah it's, it's a bit to, to take in now if you're new to crypto the best platform for a beginner to use is an app called swissborg it is so simple so easy to use it's just uh type type swiss in chat if you use swissborg and you think it's the best best platform to use for a beginner how do you spell it swissborg s-w-i-s-s S-W-I-S-S. -S. -S. Sorry, Look at that. Everyone's typing Swiss board because yeah, it's okay. just so easy. Oh, it's true. Okay. All right. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely um get on to Swissborg. Um, it will make investing in crypto offensively easy. It's literally like you put money in, you yeah. press what you want, buy. That's it. Want to swap it to a different crypto? You just press the one you've got, press the one that you want to swap choose how much you want to swap done you want to take money out you swap it to gbp take it out done no complicate it's not complicated at all on swiss board. but what you just talked about was investing in other things apart from crypto because it's not been doing well yeah 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 so what we just talked about here was because we believe that people should not just invest in crypto they should invest in the stock market as well just simply because the stock market basically controls crypto where I'm, I'm going to kind of show that in, in, in a second but it's very important to kind of be diversified so say for example when you're when the crypto market pulls back if you've got a few investments in the stock market like um two tech two indexes like say for example the s p 500 which is the top 500 companies in america and maybe someone like apple or nike then when the crypto market's down, you're not really down on all of your investments, if that makes sense. Okay. So that's a little that. bit. I am because I've I I'm opening um Vanguard. Yeah. To to look at um index funds. 
Oh, well, brilliant. I'm looking for like short term stuff to do. Yep. So, okay. Yeah, so one, of, one of our mentors just sticks with, with a motto and he just says, the best way for anyone to be safe is two tech and two index funds. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, even, I, um... even, even in the short term, um, that still kind of applies to that. But yeah, what we did is we just broke down an earnings report. So this is the difference between retail investors and professional investors and people that work in banks is they read these reports that we've just broken down. So we understand not everybody knows how to read these reports, how to find them or understand them. So we like to just break it down for the people so that they can get the same kind of um, advantage that bankers have got. Okay, all right. Thank you. Well, I'm just going to jump in with some extra game that I feel that other people could um, could 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 gain from, especially because there's a replay. <laughs> you was you was really in um, in your element with with replying to Faye, but I'm just going to come from like an energy from like that I read from um, the way that Faye asked the question. You said crypto is not doing well right now. It's actually an amazing time for cryptocurrency right now because the markets are in a dip. So. The, and you also mentioned um, you like to do shorter things as well. So as in like, am I correct in saying you are looking for a quick profit or a quicker profit? Yeah, like I've I'm, I've sorted out looking at um, index funds and that's mm -hmm. like a three to five year plan. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to look at, yeah, short term, short term stuff. I think I okay. researched I'm, more. Swing I'm trading? Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give you the best game with, with, with regards to short term. Anybody here who wants to make short term profits, you make the most short term profits when you have the strongest long term fundamentals and not invest in knowledge. The best traders in this world are the people who are the most patient because you should look at trading as something that is extremely hard. Right. And look at look at fundamentals as your level one long term. And then maybe longer trades, like longer swings. And then the shortest time periods where you want to make money, like a lot of people want to do Forex or Binance options or make money within like less than a week. They're the hardest profits to make and the risks, uh, riskiest as well. So or the higher risks. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So like, I don't know what your current understanding is, but it seems like you're a beginner or I'm, I'm a, am I? Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a beginner. Um... I think what I meant was not like, oh, quick, let me just make quick bucks. Uh -huh. I meant it as in not like, I, 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 to be honest, what I'm understanding is I don't think that with this type of trading is not as long term as, for example, index funds would be. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you're right. um, that's so your where returns I... are way quicker. So index funds, you're going to maximum get 10 to 20% in a year investing yeah. in individual stocks you're going to get between 20 to 100 percent in a year sometimes 300 to 800 percent in a year like tesla like nvidia so and again some stocks like i've just mentioned like tesla and nvidia they get higher returns than some cryptos and they're they're much more solid because you can read these earnings reports and they're products that you're probably using yourself so mm -hmm. that's where you get better and safer chances of of getting the return that you want then in comparison to long-term investment to trading mm -hmm. what people fail to often realize with, with, with trading is yes you're trading and you might win a few trades but you're only make using a small portion of your 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 trading budget so to make a complete 100 percent flip of your trading budget is very hard to do very and will more than likely take about three to six months and for a beginner might take a year to two years whereas that same money just held in a single stock or in a crypto you can get that a hundred percent return in a matter of three to five months mm -hmm. and in the crypto you can get a 500 percent return or a thousand percent return in six months to a year which trading, I know a lot of traders, I don't know any traders that are doing a thousand percent return off trading in a year. No. No, no, I under, like I understand that. I expected that it would take me a year or yeah, a year plus to mm -hmm. get to a stage where I'm making like quicker returns. 
but I want to be able to, because uh, I work as a nurse, mm-hmm. work part time and slowly like decrease my hours more the more that I earn. That's yeah, 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 yeah. That's I'm I'm quite interested in in helping you out. Um, so drop us a message on the blockchain sensei Instagram. Okay. Um, be happy to to kind of give you a free session and just kind of see where you're at and see 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 how we can help you. All right. Yeah. No. Thank you. No worries. Um, in answer to Michael's questions, what apps, what website app are you using, and can you recommend for buying stocks? So for me, the easiest ones to use are Free Trade and Revolut. Uh, they're just again super super simple, um, and they allow you to do fractional shares, which means let's say for example the stock is a hundred dollars, you can just invest ten pound and get your shares that way. Um, anybody that uses Revolut. Uh, type rev in chat anyone that uses free trade type free in chat for us so we can see the people using those platforms uh, and i think they're international as well so yeah. free, free trade isn't international it's uk only okay cool so yeah that's that's that okay brilliant so let's do go in ninjas any altcoins you want to look at anything you want to talk about mm. You know, you know, altcoin. I'd like, I'd like to do a live TA on Uniswap. You know, I'm holding a good Uniswap bag. So if people don't know, um, Uniswap is the biggest decentralized Ethereum exchange. So let's just give a crypto fundamental for people that aren't aware. Ethereum is obviously the second biggest cryptocurrency. It's the biggest. It's also the biggest open source blockchain with 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 the most large cap cryptocurrencies, including but not limited to engine coin, being built on Ethereum. Now, there's what's called centralized exchanges and decentralized exchanges. Centralized exchanges are things like Coinbase, Swissball, Binance, anything that you need um, KYC passport approval. Decentralized exchanges are for crypto to crypto exchanges only. Now, Uniswap is the biggest Ethereum decentralized exchange. And the token's not been doing that much, I don't feel. Okay. Um, do you want to do the TA or do you want me to do it? I'd like you to do it because you're, okay. you're the wizard. This is the guy you taught me. <laughs> So, funny, again, funny story about be... Uniswap. Um, when me and Mr. Hardin announced our partnership, as um, a token of my appreciation, I sent him a Uniswap coin. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> one one quick thing I'm going to show you guys here. So, very cheekily, I've just shown you my whole portfolio. Well, not my whole portfolio, but most of my crypto investments. One of the best ways to kind of see what's getting momentum is to look at what's up whilst everything is down. So, we can see curve is up 7% whilst everything else is down in the market. We can see mana is up 6% whilst everything else is down. Um, and then we've got Hoge. Ignore that one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Curve, we mentioned, it's in the watch lists. Um, and so is, is Hoge. Those are two things that we've definitely mentioned to people before. So let's go and look for Sushi, Sushi Swap. Sushi, Sushi. Oh, Uni, Uniswap. Oh, Uniswap. Mm-hmm. Uh, for those who don't know, SushiSwap is a Uniswap competitor. Okay, this is very interesting already. Right. So let's go have a look at the big picture first. So anyone that wants to understand how to use charts, we're going to have a swing trading uh, session next Monday where we're going to be going over how to read a chart uh for absolute beginners so if you want to get that that's the link is in our bio get your tickets now whilst you can oh yeah sad sad news there is no there is no the game next week as we will be doing this event this is the second ever paid blockchain sensei live event so please do attend if you can ticket links are in the link tree um instagram bio okay our fib extensions are saying the big picture $82 $122 $166 and potentially $192 so you're looking at max side 700% return least 250 it's lit I'm holding the buy I know I mean Uniswap has utility you know what I yeah, mean a lot of utility lot of and that, that's where everything's swinging now it's all going to utility based. Like the whole meme period is is dying off, and it's all going to be utility period. So again, look at this beautiful support line that we've got here forming. 
right here. Any, anyone who's been considering adding Uniswap to their portfolio, now-ish might be a good time. Mate, this was a great shout. Uh, RSI. Disgusting. Also, remember, remember, guys, 50% of this game is mindset. We say it time and time again, especially, I always say 50% of the game is mindset. Um, Bro, look at this RSI. Ooh, it's low. It's low. Remember, when, when, when other retailers are thinking, you know, crypto is not doing well because it's down, maybe you wanna, might want to flip your mindset and think, it's bargain time. It's time to... This is absolutely... In my opinion, this is strong bargain because we've got the support that's just here. We've got RSI that's just getting battered. <laughs> Nice, just hit the base of the Don Chan. This is actually really nice. I think I might might load up on this. Oh, see, there we go. The drops. Okay, and then let's take off the Don Chan. Let's see if we can see any cheeky order blocks. Okay, what's interesting. We do have order blocks at this resistance level here. That is very interesting. So I would say if it breaks past 31, I don't think it's coming back for a while. Oh, actually, no, wait, hang on a minute. There's some more there. Okay, so it's got two very significant free, actually. Three very significant um, resistance levels where it might have a bit of trouble. Um, none of them really line up with the fib levels that I'm seeing. Let me redo this fib. Do it based off this impulse to there. There, okay, yeah, this is around that 1.6 level. Okay, now look at this alignment of the order blocks with the fibs and the resistance levels. I don't know if you can see it, but the fib levels are literally aligning with the resistance levels and the order block levels. Oh, wow! So, yeah, there, for, there's... fundamentally, it doesn't make sense that this hasn't, this hasn't spiked yet because Ethereum's reached all time highs. No, it does now, technically, because look, we can see these order blocks. So that means okay. there's some institutions just not allowing this to move. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why. It's very interesting. And I think I might know who those institutions are. Okay. Square and Coinbase. <laughs> why would it be in Square and Coinbase's favour to push down the price of Uniswap? Because think cause about what, if, if they can keep people if this suppressed, and maybe even destroy it. If Square have, this is the top conspiracy theory, obviously, <laughs> but not fact, but Square are just about to launch their decks. What? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah. See, that's so, why you gotta have stocks and crypto. I got Square Cash stock and Uniswap coins. Yeah, so you win all, way, all ways round, don't you? You win all ways uh, round, mm -hmm. that's what it is. Um, so yeah, let's go to Q and A's now. Okay, cool. So we always do our Q and A's to, to wrap up and we always start with people that are new or people that haven't been in one of our sessions before. So we've got Zoom user at the bottom. So Zoom user, we don't know who you are. So you've been unmuted. Any feedback on anything we've done today? Any questions or anything you want us to look at or analyze? Was that for me, Mike? Yeah. Oh, my bad. I'm watching with a friend. Um, he's got a question for you. Yeah, yeah, far away. All right, then. So um, just a while ago, you were speaking about mana. I mean, not mana, sorry. You are speaking about utility coins, right? Mm -hmm. And um, also, you're speaking in line of saying that um, meme coins are pretty much going to be borderline dead very, very soon. It's just all hype. Um, would it be wise to start looking at utility coins as well as the meta states right now? 100%. So based off what we've just seen in the Coinbase earnings report, let's go back here. So based on, let me share the screen with you. 
Based on, let me know when you can see my screen again. So yes, obviously the meme coins will always be here, but they're just, the the big money is now starting to get a bit tired with their meme coin yeah. things that they were doing. And yeah. people and the validity of crypto and web 3.0 is being made stronger by nfts so we've clearly seen a bit of a culture shift of all the hype in crypto being around nfts more so than meme coins in the last like month two months yeah, yeah. and that's because of the the metaverse stuff but we can see just from this alone from coinbase remember coinbase yes this is where they're making their investments but when we follow the paper trail and we see who's investing in coinbase we can see who is indirectly investing in things through coinbase so basically basically like coinbase are basically the puppets mm -hmm. they're being told what to buy and what to invest in and we can see right. that at the moment 24 percent of their investments are in DeFi, 18 percent is in cfi and 29% is in web free protocols and NFTs and metaverse stuff is just making up 9% of, of, of what they're investing in. So if anything, that would say to me that maybe NFTs and the metaverse might also be a slight distraction taking over from the, um, the meme coins, which okay. would make sense because it drives up the usage mm -hmm. on the Ethereum network. It drives yeah. up the, the gas fees. It drives it and it burns more ETH when people are messing around with these NFTs. So people don't realize it, but they're actually hurting themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Understood. Yeah, because right now I'm um, looking at the gas fees and everything when you're transferring these things. It's absolutely sky high right now. Yep. And uh, another thing as well, now that you mention it, it's interesting because, like you just said, NFTs and um, the metaverse on this scale here, it mm -hmm. shows that it's up nine percent. So that basically showing that um, the metaverse right now has got purpose behind its push. Yeah. So uh, on this, uh, that, that's, that's understandable there. Yeah. Okay, then. So um, would you say um, utilities coin and um, the metaverse will be a better thing to look into right now at this moment in time? Um, I would say DeFi and DeFi, yeah. metaverse stuff. But okay. not. I wouldn't go too heavy on the metaverse stuff because we've got to remember at the end of the day, this crypto game isn't about having fun. This crypto game is about decentralized finance and it's about finance. Yeah. And the only reason the whole market moves is because mm. of the big players in the finance game, because of these trillion dollar asset management companies like PIMCO, like Vanguard, like BlackRock. So yeah, they're, they're not really that interested in metaverse stuff when you think about it. They're yeah. interested in DeFi. They want to know, all right, cool. What platforms can I put in a hundred billion and make a billion a day from doing nothing? That's what they're interested in. NFTs is just a bit of fun for them. The NFT yeah. space is just the people working for those companies having a bit of fun with their bonuses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. what that is. Whereas yeah. when we look now at the biggest investors in, um, in Coinbase, you can see ARK Invest at number one with 1.5 billion, Vanguard Group 1.2 billion, Nico Asset Management's JP Morgan, who are always very anti crypto, have got 654 yeah. um, million. Uh, million inside Coinbase. Yeah, yeah. Correction yeah. JP Morgan publicly cap about being yeah. anti crypto, but don't listen to what the whales say, watch what they do. And we can see all of them in the last quarter what's happened for their change in shares. They're not backing out. They're going harder than ever. Mm, 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 mm. So mm. That's, who's, that's who's secretly interested in the DeFi, not, not anyone else. So that's, that's a bit of a, a deeper dive into the, the space. But yeah, on what, what you said there about the, the movement in the markets, one of the things I always do every morning is I look at the, the movement in the markets so i always start with the vti which is the vanguard total index and i look to see if i can see any correlations between any movements in this so this is the vanguard total index which is uh, an etf which is worth one trillion which has over two thousand stocks inside of it now we can see here in the last couple of days what happened there was a dip 
and then it spiked up and now it's dipped again. And then when we yeah. look at the crypto market, yeah, again, you can see a similar kind of thing. So there's a, a bit of a slight correlation. But what interests me is when the VTI dipped was the spike that we had here. So off there to there. So we had about a $200 billion move in crypto the other day. So this yeah. was 5%. So that's $98 billion that moved there. Meanwhile... Oh, um, yeah. Sorry, just so quickly there. The charts ain't showing on our side. Oh, is it not? Okay. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Can you see? Yeah, it's coming up now. Coming up. Okay, cool. So... Let's take this day here. So, like I mentioned, the, the VTI is worth 1.2 trillion. So, when this thing dips like it did here yeah. by 1.86%, by 0.7%, let's call it 1%. That would be 1% of a trillion is 10 billion, right? Yeah. Yeah. So then we would look and we would see when that dipped, was there a spike in crypto? And lo and behold, look at that. Okay, okay. You see, you see the slight correlations? I see that, yeah, I see that. It's, it's, it takes a sharp eye. So that, was, that day, crypto jumped by 97 billion. Freaky. So there's clearly something happening because again, we can see here, look at this resistance level that's building on the VTI. Yeah. And it's a very strong resistance level as well. Yep. So something is brewing. Yeah. As soon as it cracks that, that's going to hit heights. That's going to hit some real heights. Yep. And then it will mean more than likely it will be the crypto market. But as this comes down, if it comes down anymore, this will most likely fly up. Most likely, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. You never know what, what can happen in this crazy stock and crypto world. Oh yeah. So, yeah. Oh, all right then. You've, you've pretty much answered my questions there. Thank you so much for that, man. Appreciate that. No worries, man. No worries. Appreciate no worries. You, Thank you. We can, uh, let's one. go to the next person. Let's go to Curtis. I'm not too sure if Curtis is a regular. This is my brother. Oh one six one. Yo yo yo. What's good? What's I actually good, don't. I don't have any questions because it's all so like intriguing and interesting. I'm just taking it all in, to be honest. Nah, but, no worries. I mean, I appreciate you guys putting out the knowledge every are week, you, man. It's underrated. I, I appreciate that. Are, are you invested in stocks, bro? I'm not invested in stocks. Um, I don't think I know enough. I don't think oh. I know enough. I'm, I'm oh. struggling wait, with Wait, I got, I got a question for you. If you let's see if you I know rest, enough. What is the best trainer company in the world? The best trading company. Trainer. 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 Okay. Oh, that's debatable, but of course I'd say Nike. Okay. So you know enough about that stock. What's the most popular phone company in the world? Come on, Apple. Okay. It seems like you know a little bit there. Okay. What is the best car company in the world right now? Most popular. Mm, that's a bit of a tough one. Uh, obviously, Tesla, obviously. Well, there you most go. Know most growing. Companies there. Three stocks, there you go. Do your research. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> like, do, do you think these companies are going to crash anytime soon? No, definitely not. Would, is it likely that those three companies that we just mentioned might get you more return for your money than your bank? Of course, 100%. Is there a high well, possibility that Apple, Tesla, and Nike are already involved in cryptocurrency? Yeah, 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 yeah. I As the value say. of cryptocurrency rises and the popularity of these companies and adoption and use case continues to rise, do you think the stock value will rise? Yeah. No I TA. Mean, no TA. <laughs> oh, bro. There you go, hey. bro. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then obviously Fair we enough. encourage people to do a little bit more research and have a of look course. at the energy reports like course. we did. But you that's know, that's, the, that's the that's the basics. Basics is if you're using it and you can see everyone else is using it, and other brands, big brands, are partnering up with them, it's probably a good investment. 
mm-hmm. probably. Is it, would you class it as more of a longer term than crypto? Yeah, 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 yeah. So my whole play is make money in my cryptos, flip the profits into my stocks and just mm. hold in my stocks. Yeah. 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 Okay, locking, I love lock, that. Locking, locking crypto, some crypto profits, especially all coins, into, into the stock market is one of the best places you can lock profits. Mm-hmm. I always tell what, people what? put a lot of profits in 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 a, a Bitcoin Ethereum as well, but obviously there even the even the most stable cryptos are extremely volatile. Um, type yes in chat if you've made some decent money from any stock investments since doing lessons with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I Nvidia Coinbase, that. baby. <laughs> Jeez, Nvidia. Jeez. How long do you guys hold your stocks for typically? Um, I'm planning on holding most of my stocks for five to ten years. Wow, so that's a very long term game, then. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if you take Nvidia, for example, five. No, let me just show you. Um, be prepared for what I'm about to show you. This is where people are missing out on stocks and don't realize. Also, people don't know there's there's a lot of stocks um that pay dividends as well. So um, mm-hmm. like Nasdaq pays pretty good dividends as well so I'm, I'm trying to get to a point where basically my dividends pay some of my bills in stocks so let's say you invested in nvidia in the 2020 dip bro can you share your screen <laughs> uh, it's not sharing yet there so let's say you invested in nvidia when it dipped in 2020 all right you would currently be up 629%. I know some people that are in crypto that haven't got 629% return. And look at that chart compared to a crypto chart. And that whole time they would have been getting paid dividends as well. That they could have reinvested into NVIDIA, uh, sorry, um, NVIDIA or other stocks or cryptos. But that was, that was since 2020. Let's take this back. Let's go, if you held it for five years. That's the percentage return. <laughs> Guys, the that's key insane. Is all- that's crazy. Yeah. You, you, know, you, know the, you, know, you know what's even more crazy? That like, I guarantee if somebody presented me the information that I was presented today, five, six years ago, I would have taken it in and started investing there. Like it's mm-hmm. literally everyone in this room just has access to knowledge that a lot of people have just not tapped into. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. Facts, facts, facts. Okay. Hopefully answer Sorry, that question. Do you not think that depends on mindset though? Do you think yeah. you were in that mindset five years ago? Yeah. I think everyone's in the mindset well, where they want to make money. Because I've not really met many people that don't want to make money, even people that work in charities or work in a church or a place of worship want to make money to to benefit others. It's just I think what the thing is, is there's a misdirection by media and by a lot of outlets, by our communities, by the education system, so on and so forth, that kind of put stocks as a bad, risky thing. When in fact, inflation is the riskiest thing. I don't know if you anyone's seen, but the current inflation rate in the UK is just about to hit 5%. So that's terrifying. Anyone that's just had any kind of raise or bonus is completely irrelevant now. Mm. So in, inflation is the biggest and scariest thing and the most dan- the most dangerous investment you can make is to have cash in your bank. I'm 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 gonna actually challenge that. The most dangerous thing that people can do is ignore the fact there's there's inflation and not get financially literate. Yeah. That's me. I've I've chose to stay ignorant until recently. Well done okay. for making the change. Welcome, yeah, yeah. Like congratulations to yourself because like I started, like, the reason why I knew I was ready five years ago was because I was trading Forex five years ago. I didn't understand the value of investing. I only understood the value of investing in 2020, but nobody presented me the information. 
So yeah, it, so so it's two things. Like I'm, I'm I'm glad you asked me about the mindset because number one is mindset. Like you have to literally change your cognitive bias. The first thing I teach people is you need to go from I want to make money to I wish to build wealth. Even mm-hmm. saying the words building wealth is more powerful than making money. All I ever like our top company company phrase is building wealth and abundance, right? So wealth is everything from stocks, crypto, even real estate, even commodities, mm-hmm. and more importantly than that, it's your intellectual property. So if you can learn to, 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 to execute you know, your, your time and attention into the markets, the markets will reward you if you, if you spend time to learn how, how things move, basically. Facts. 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 Well, just take your time. Let's Actually, go. I have another quick question. <laughs> now that we were talking about the stocks and crypto, like how would you guys allocate, well, how have you guys allocated your portfolio in terms of focus of your money and your capital like would you say that you try and balance it out between crypto and stocks or do you i'll I'll, 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 I'll give you i'll I'll give you my formula so i got 10 percent. i got about 10 percent in cash and stable coins so that's gbp usdc and i've got an indonesian rupee as well because i've got an indonesian bank 30 percent of my net worth is in is in real estate because i've got land in indonesia 40 percent in crypto 20 percent in uh, stocks Nice. Mine is kind of similar. Mine is I put profits that I'm making from crypto. I always reinvest that into about 10% of that. I'll try and reinvest into physical businesses, like say, for example, Blockchain Sensei. Um, mm-hmm. Then 10% of, of what I have um, is 10 to 20% is in stocks at the moment, and then 80% in crypto. Now, it's normally 60-40, but at the moment, being as we're in peak bull run season, that's why it's where, where it's at. Right. But, yeah, but, sick. But, but you should find something that's, that's comfortable for you. Like, mm-hmm. this, like I don't, I mean, this, this, this sounds terrible for me, but some people like to keep half the net worth in cash and then the other net worth in, in, in assets. That too is fine because, because if you're invested in long-term assets, like the the value of your net worth will always rise. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If, you, if you keep it 50-50, like that's that is what I would say is this is a very, very, very safe benchmark for anybody who, who's a long-term investor, like half cash, half assets. I think that's terrible personally. I don't want to miss out on gains, but you, you gotta find what works for you. You gotta find your stocks, like literally the the, the, the formula for the for, for, for any retail investor is stocks, crypto, fiat, right? And then you gotta find your balance. Yeah, definitely. Uh, let's take a question from, from Michael. Michael Mora, um, how do you transfer crypto winnings into stocks? So your crypto winnings, you just basically put them into fiat and then invest into stocks. Simple as. All right, so there's no penalty for transferring money back to my bank and then buying the stocks again? Or is uh, there a way I can directly will, invest? Potentially, depending on the size of the um, profit that you've taken, you will have to pay capital gains tax on on that. But mm-hmm. it's a case of, yeah, it depends on how much you're, you're, you're taking profit in. Anything over a thousand pounds or over, I think it's going to be the new rules and registration are going to be over 10,000. You're going to have to pay tax on, on that. Um, so yeah, if you're happy to pay tax on some of your gains, and then put that into stocks for security, for long-term security and dividend plays, then fair enough. But if you're not, then I would probably, the, the one the one big thing that a lot of people are doing, and we met a gentleman today that's got over six figures in his multi-millionaire uh, crypto investor. And um, what he's doing is he's just using platforms like Nexo as um, to take loans against his crypto instead of selling it. And Mate. then do it that way, because that way you avoid the capital gains tax. And I actually need to share this story. So basically, me and Mr. Hardin, um, so we've dedicated this entire week just for business growth, because obviously, I don't know, if, uh, for those that don't know, me and Mr. Hardin juggle many ventures outside of blockchain sensei. Um, I'm a music artist, he's in events, etc. So this is like a focus week for us. And we were just talking about upscaling our business. And Mr. Hardin was talking about, you know, figures which... I, going on Mindset Faye, hadn't aligned myself to believe. I won't say the figures, but they're really big figures, right? And then Mr. Hardin's like, no, speak it into existence and we'll, we'll, we'll attract it. We literally attracted a guy 
a super high net worth guy who came over, sat with us, gave us game, gave us a lot of game, right, for about half an hour. And we literally saw on several accounts, on some accounts, he had a quarter of a million on his phone. Coinbase, quarter of a million, crypto.com, 100K. It was insane. It was extremely humbling as well. So, yeah, always be learning. Uh, here's the TA on REC. So REC is a very interesting one at the moment. So this was one of our older swing trades that um, was very profitable when we did it. Uh, let me just have a look, see. signs cool can you see my screen yes sir um uh, so definitely a bit of a support line here why is it not letting me draw in ah there we go let's move that up there really nice support line there to be fair at the moment it's slap bang under these moving averages though i don't know why it's, it's got stuck under all of these so this is a bit of a, an interesting one i'd wait for a curve up on these moving averages um same with this breakout i'd wait for a curve of the stochastics to break through this orange one here so i would say we're looking at as soon as it starts moving over 0.216 that would be, in my opinion, a good place to enter. Because um, then from there, I'd expect it to carry on moving up. Uh, in terms of take profits, highs on this, at least up to this high here of 0.453, um, we could get up to. Um, let's just quickly do a fib on this one. Mm. I'd say that is potentially an impulse move. Down to here. So again, yeah, just above. Yeah. I'd say the high you're going to probably get on this is 4.285. So... Yeah, roughly 100% move. On that one there is what I'm expecting. Not expecting much higher than that, to be honest with you. Although, could be completely wrong on that one. Uh, that's just what I'm I'm seeing on that one. Hope that one's helped. Uh, back to the chat. So we had, well, I doubled my portfolio since our lessons by doing little to nothing. Sad like I'll get my two on two account. Yeah. Oh, this is amazing news. Wait. Um. Can we do a TA on sand and a yeah, engine? I would probably move from rec into engine just because of all the metaverse stuff. Don't quote me on that, do your own research. Um, so in my top five holdings on sand, and then a question on how to accept crypto payments for music. Okay, um, somehow I need to get a screenshot of that comment by Michael. Can you do that, Ninja? Uh, yeah, 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 one sec. Because that is an amazing, um, if you open the chat and then get Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just screenshot it right now. All right, cool. I hope you're okay with us screenshotting that. We'll remove your name, Michael, if that's okay. Oh, legend. Um, so the TA was on Sandbox. Okay. So I'm personally not in Sandbox, but... Neither am I. I missed it. Boy, that is one hell of a... One crazy platform with the stuff that they're doing with Snoop Dogg and everything. Like, mm -hmm. these guys have put in the work. Also, if anyone's a gamer or is making money from a, any play-to-earns or knows anyone making money from a play-to-earns or is interested in gaming please message me with planning on doing uh, an episode about gaming. For sure. Um, I think it's important to say when, when we don't know that much or when we're 
uh, not invested or when we miss the boat. I kind of learned that from Ian Dunlop. For those that know Ian Dunlop, the master investor, one of the greatest investors of our generation. We learn a lot from it. Um, he also, you know, he he was he was speaking about how we miss Solano, and that's really important because I don't want I want everyone in this room to remember that you are going to miss most of the market. Yeah, and it's okay. It's not okay. It's not, it's not you're going to miss some opportunities. You're going to miss most of them. Yeah. Right, right, every single second is an opportunity and you have to be in the opportunities that are for you. That's okay. Okay, so this at the moment is looking peng. So if we look at the moving averages here, this uh, would slap bang on the 10-day the moving average. Um, so it's looking like it's got space to, to fly up from it. So what it's doing here is similar to the movement that I'm expecting it to do. So the last wave it did. So normally we get three big waves before, three big like spurts out before a bit of a drop. So you can see we've had one, two, and then the third and final one should be here. Um, but let's pull out the fib and do from here was clearly the impulse. So there was clearly the pullback. That's clearly the base. So we're looking at uh, these key levels. 7.029, 9.08, and then the high of 12. So you're looking at a high of about 150% return on that one. Uh, the only thing I'm wary of is the RSI is quite high. However, the highest it's got to is 95. So that suggests to me that it, it can still go higher on, on that one. On daily, yeah, it's, it's come back a little. But yeah, that, that's, I'm, I'm very confident it can get to, to seven. Um, and I think just numerically, people like round numbers. So I think it will probably get to 12. Um, I'm not too sure of the market cap on this one. Let's quickly check what the market cap is. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's not in the market cap there. That's really annoying. Okay. But yeah, I'll, I'll do your own research on that one. That was a bit of a, an interesting one. Um, uh, game would say Sander Man have already sailed in terms of big gains at the end of the bull run. I've said to me, it's not a lot, on a lot of big gains. Um, so Sand and Mana, I think they've still got a little bit of space in them because, like I said, I think they're being used as the distraction tokens. Um, unfortunately, I think they're going to be used as the the new meme coins. These are the this is the new Doge. Is is the the meme stuff is uh, mana and sandbox, um, because again, sandbox has got more utility than mana, um, but I've not seen any VR integrations for for any of them yet. Myself personally, if there is, then fair enough. But at the moment, I've not seen that, so I'm still a bit mm, on those. Uh, but yeah, I, I think. When you look at it, the gains here are like 12%. There's definitely other cryptos out there that you're going to get what would appear from the TA higher returns on. But again, sometimes some of this stuff just doesn't follow TA rules. So it could go way further than that. But let's let's see what happens. Uh, let's take a question from Natasha Wong because you come all, you've, you've been very loyal. Natasha, any questions or any feedback? Um, no, I'm good. I'm. I had. A, I wrote a lot of notes, and I'm just digesting it, and I'm just trying to understand, you know, what you're explaining. So not at this time, but I'm, you know, listening and writing my notes and just digesting everything. And thank you. Okay, let me let me let me ask you a question because I know I'm very very bad at replying, and you do you do, you do reach out a few times. So now we're live, and this is the opportunity, and it's captured. Um. First of all, have you read our uh, our ebook? What were your thoughts, and are you currently investing in any digital assets at present? Um, I haven't read. I haven't 
I, after I download it, I haven't gotten a chance to read it at the moment, but I am definitely am going to um, get into it. I haven't, I invested in the past, but um, I haven't recently. I'm kind of struggling financially a little bit. So when things get a little better, I will get back into the market. So, okay. and, um, yeah. You know what I applaud you on? The fact that you said I'm financially struggling right now. You bought our ebook, right? Yeah. And and you're here now, and 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 that speaks volumes because I always tell people I don't recommend anybody investing in anything. Everybody loves to ask me what should I invest in, what's the coin that's going to blow, you know, where should I put my money? I tell people I'm not a financial advisor. The number one thing I can tell people to do and encourage people to do, but I can tell people you need to get financially literate. The, the thing that you need to do is not invest but invest your time, energy, attention. And when it makes sense, when the moment clicks, you'll start buying the right assets for you. Because you've done that, Natasha, I'm going to give you two free sessions. Wow. Okay. All right. Thank I'll you. Jump on one of them. I'll jump on for one of them. Just because I, you're doing exactly what people need to do, which is learn first before just diving in. So I'm happy to give you two free sessions. So at the moment, my sessions are valued at £100 each session. So that's £200 worth of, of investments that you would have spent on education that you can now spend on investing. Okay. So I'm okay, going to skip thanks. over my, um, my, my link. Um, and then what we'll do in one of the sessions, I'm wow. going to show you as many ways as possible to get free crypto. So we're just going to get you loads of free crypto, probably about 50 to hundred pounds worth of, of free crypto, and then you can use that to to invest as well. All right, okay. we'll, we'll 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 one up it. We'll one up it. Okay, she can do one with you, one with me. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. All right. All cool. right. Thank you so Thank much. You. No, no worries. No worries. Um, if you just drop us, uh, you've been messaging the Instagram page, right? Um, yeah, she's on blockchain a little bit, not not a lot, because I'm not really, I'm not like actively on Instagram a lot, like communicating a lot and, you know, here and there, but yeah, I mean, okay. I started following and, you know, when I get a chance, I do here and there. Okay, cool. Yeah. We'll just drop us a message and we'll, we'll book you, we'll send you the booking link and then we'll go from there. Either that or oh. it's on our website. You can just do it on our website, which is uh, www.blockchainsensei.com. Okay. Blockchainsensei.com. Yeah. Okay. That's the one. Curios. Um, and then we will take two more questions because we're running over a little bit. Oh, man, Mr. McMuffin. Mr. McMuffin, you've been unmuted. Nope. Nope. No, nope, nothing from Mr. McMuffin. Now, AJ, you already know your old like two free lessons anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, AJ, wh when are you gonna get, take these lessons? Oh damn, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, <laughs> uh, I guess I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks if you guys free. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd yeah. Be, we appreciate it not being this week because we're crazy busy. busy oh no, this week. no, no rush at all. Actually, no rush. Okay. Maybe like mid December or before December. That's where my birthday is, so perfect timing. Perfect timing. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let's 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 make sure we get that done because yeah. Sweet. Well overdue. Sweet. Have you got any questions or any feedback or anything or anything you're looking at? Uh no feedback um not too many questions I, i'm just really sort of surprised not surprised but surprised by nvidia and like the percentage that we're showing on the on the charts mm -hmm. <laughs> within the five-year time that's kind of crazy and yep. i knew it's going to be high but i didn't realize it's going to be that much yep it's crazy what it's people are nice. missing out on yeah. by ignoring some stocks sometimes like yeah, the, the, and, I, and i think there's such a Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 you go ahead. I think currently there's such a focus on crypto that no one's like really looking at stocks that much. Mm -hmm. It's not no one, it's retail. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The whales are definitely stock. looking at stocks. <laughs> definitely. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a 
it's it's uh, unfortunately wealth is a long term game, and yes, you can make quick money in in crypto, but in the long run, stocks will always win. Yeah, for sure. So, it's a good to have that combination of different yeah, factors for sure. To, you know, like what you just were describing earlier. Yeah. So but imagine you've made like be- a 10x return on something in crypto, yeah. and then you're just stockpiling into into some stocks, and then you get a 10x return on that as well. You're laughing. 100%. I think also a lot of people um, got used to, you know, the um, crappy coins, the meme yep. coins and the profits mm-hmm. from that. And then now everyone's expecting, you know, 20x, 30x, 40x. And it's like, you know, it's a, it's a phase. And if you're lucky, you get that. But yep. there's a long and, game. And, you know, delayed gratification is where, where it's at. Key. This, is, this, this is where rewards are. So I think that's, mm-hmm. that's key to remember. All the time, everywhere in get, life, delayed gratification. Yeah, not to get sort of too blinded by the quick profit. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right, can, I, can I just quickly shout out AJ because um, I won't I won't drop the coin now because um, yeah I don't I don't I don't really want a coin show because it because it because it's no it's not a good time, time probably right now but yeah <laughs> yeah 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 so I'm I'm I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm I'm not gonna drop the coin but AJ put me on a coin um, on the 16th of October. And I, I think we've seen, what, 9x since that time? Some, something insane. I think so. There's actually a really huge thing coming up um, early December, NFT Marketplace with that okay. coin. Amazing. Right? And right now, no, right now it's dipping a little bit, considering, well, the whole market is kind of dipping. Okay. But I'm not, I'm not like, the, the, the takeaway is on the coin shield, guys. The takeaway is the power of having a network and people around you. The takeaway is, right, literally, if you want the best trade you can get in the crypto game, this is the best trade. You learn, you add value to a community, like, like we're adding value in your own way. You don't have to do your own Zoom call, just have your own group chats, whatever, and then people will add value to you. And some of the biggest gains that I've made have literally come from the recommendation and the plugs of other people. Yep. Keep your network up. <laughs> yep, 100. So final question goes over to our man, the main man of the moment, the crypto chimp himself, Mr. Ollie Gilbert. <laughs> With his NFT flex right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how much the NFT cost you, bro? One ETH. <laughs> how much is your NFT, bro? Oh, oh, he's he's, he's balling so much that his mic's gone out. I can't hear you, bro. Oh no! Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear now, bro? No, I bought, I bought that one for point six ETH, but I'm getting offers for like close to one on that one. Wow! Zero point four ETH profit. What's that? Sixteen hundred. Yeah. yeah, but the wow. thing is with this one, with with that one there, I've got a few others as well. But um, this one is it's called a gambling ape, and basically what they're setting up is a casino within Decentraland, and okay. Through by having that, I'll get residual basically dividends um, on that, on that uh, casino. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a nasty move. <laughs> yeah, it? yeah. So I'm not selling it. You know, if I if I if I get something out of the, out of the blue of like you know like three e for something, like that, I'll be like, yeah, go for it. Um, but for now, I'll just see how it goes. Really. First, first, first. Well. You are the king of um, crypto shows at the moment. Is there anything that you're looking <laughs> Give at? Us at the shill, moment? Give us a shill, Ali. Give us a shill. What am I looking at at the moment? Give me, give me a mo. Um, have, I, have I spoken about Al Shura? I don't think I have. No, I don't think you have. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm big into um, the dot ecos- ecosystem at the moment. Mm-hmm. Al Shura. A building upon dot um they are basically linking together the metaverse and gaming um, how do you spell it altura a-l-t um a-l-t u-r-a basically what they're doing they're producing they haven't i don't think they've got um a, a working product just yet um but they're bringing together a um basically game of gamified nfts mm-hmm. um so they can like merge and stuff and 
do all sorts of crazy things that they need for gaming within. Okay. So it's based. Is it Binance or Polkadot? Um, it's it's currently on on Binance Smart Chain, but I'm pretty sure that they're, they're going on to Dot. Mm. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because because they have they haven't got a um a dot power chain yet. Okay. But, yeah, you, know, so, you know what? I've got I've got I've got a better question than 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 the old coin show. Right. Could you give us the strategy? I know you guys want the old coin show, but they, 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 this is what this is a this is a better this is a better long term. Um could you just share with us a strategy of how you even snipe the old coin? Because I mean, I've been out of all coin sniper mode. I, I've been lucky because people have been blessing me with with things to look at, and then that's kind of yeah. kept me occupied. But yeah, how, how are you sniping? Can you give us a, well, a strategy? It's a it's a mixture between just doing just doing research into your know, coin market cap. Just that's that is literally like your bible. You know, yeah. if you know where to yeah. look, just just keep looking and looking, and then once you find something interesting, um, and that sort of fits your strategy. Um, so I really believe like everyone like there's a few different points that you know I could definitely sort of build upon um, that we've just been talking about, which is you know you're going to miss most of the market. So have a strategy. Really understand a certain part of the market. Mm -hmm. that one, that that one point. So then when you're in coin market cap or all these other places or groups, for example, you know I'm I'm in a few Discord groups, a few paid ones. Um, a few that actually you need to have an and you need to pay you need to buy the NFT to be part of a group. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm in a I'm in one or two of them as well, and there's just their shields going on in that as well. And it's like uh -huh. yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, look, it's it's understand a certain part of the market that it, you know that you take an interest in, and then also you know have a have a good network as well. Um, Keys. Yeah, that's that's basically it. So. Nice, nice, nice. Boy, the game. Yeah. This episode has been the fire, game. Fire, fire, One final bit of game that I forgot to mention in the Coinbase Owners Report. They're actually the official sponsors of the NBA. They've got the partnership. Just saying. Oh, uh, you see, you see, uh, Crypto.com everywhere on the F1 as well. Like, yeah, just, it's just insane. That's why Crow coins just. Mate, Coinbase are gonna have to step their game up. Yeah, guaranteed yeah. they're gonna step their game up now because yeah, they have to. Crypto.com is making everyone look silly. Yeah, they're the marketing is just a point. <laughs> like it's dumb. Yeah, like I knew their marketing was good, but now they're taking the piss with it. Definitely. So, but yeah, but yeah, Coinbase um, and Flow definitely want to watch out for. Definitely. So, yeah, boys and girls, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much to all those that watched on, uh, watching back on YouTube as well. Thank you to everyone that stayed to the end and asked a question. Hopefully didn't forget anyone. Um, everyone got to ask a question. Uh, peace and love, guys. Yo, real quick, though. Um, about the question I had, um, is that I have a DM you guys about that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire yeah, away. What's your question now? What's your question? Uh, just about making crypto payments and music and I know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'll send okay. a DM in a minute though. We can do it through you can do it through NFTs. Um yeah. there's a crypto NFT platform called Aurora. Don't quote me on it. Let me I think it's called Aurora. Uh, I'll DM you and make sure it's the same NFT yeah, platform no problem. that um Soldier Boy and Little Pump used. And it allowed them to give out royalties of their music. So I'm um, crazy. We've got a big, big NFT session coming up mm. end of next month. Um, uh, and we're uh, going to be looking at that quite heavily. NFTs for musicians. Um, apart from that, you can just um, we can show you how to if you if you've got a website, we can show you quite easily how to integrate uh, Coinbase payments into your website. Okay. Okay. No worries. Nice one. All right, no worries, buddy. Speak to you later. Stay safe, bro. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, everyone.